is a quiet start to our Monday, so I figured, well, let's talk about the countdown. Now, we're only six days away from daylight saving time when we spring ahead that one hour. So, yes, that's coming up this upcoming weekend. St. Patrick's Day, we're about 11 days away and just 14 days away from the spring equinox. So, yes, officially two weeks away from the start of spring. And again, that's astronomical spring, not meteorological spring. We were talking about that last week. But out there this morning, a bit of a chilly start. It will be a nice Monday afternoon, though. We're talking about high temperatures right around 60 under a mix of sun and clouds for your Monday. We'll get towards overnight tonight. We do see a chance for a few rain showers sliding by as the system slides through. Aside from that, we should be mainly dry into your Tuesday. Still dry on Wednesday, although we'll notice those winds picking up and temperatures will be cooling off over the course of the next several days. So we're talking by the end of the week, those high temperatures likely back into the upper 40s, but out there today, quite nice. Radar is all clear to kickstart your Monday morning, and that will likely remain the same through the day today, aside from later on tonight when that system passes by. But temperatures out there right now, starting off in the upper 20s to low 30s, especially just outside of the district. So we're starting off near the 40s in DC, as well as Lexington Park, and those are two of the warmer spots in the map right now. But elsewhere, I just want to make sure that you are bundled up just because it is a bit of a chillier start. Satellite and radar showing us more clouds starting to stroll through parts of West Virginia right now. We'll likely see a few clouds strolling by through the day today, but overall we'll still be seeing that sunshine. A lot of those temperatures will warm up. We're talking upper 50s to right about 60 degrees later on this afternoon, likely low 60s the farther south you go. And looking ahead towards the next several hours and through the day today, we're looking at future cast showing us 40s as we get towards 10 a.m., 50s as we get towards noon today. And then later on this afternoon, we'll notice those winds shifting to mainly out of the south and eventually picking up between 5 to 10 miles per hour. This warm front lifting through as we Again, towards later on this evening, followed by that cold front. And with that cold front, that will be ushering in the threat for a few of those rain showers. So again, towards overnight tonight. So thinking after midnight tonight is really when we could see a few of those rain showers sliding by. Behind that front, we do notice those winds do shift to mainly out of the north, and that'll be pushing in that colder air along with some cloud cover through the overnight tonight. Likely seeing those overnight lows upper 30s to right about 40 overnight tonight. And then as we look ahead towards tomorrow afternoon, those temperatures into the upper 40s to low 50s for your Tuesday afternoon. So a little bit cooler for our Tuesday and then even cooler on Wednesday. It will be windy, making it feel even colder than the actual air temperatures, but at least we're tracking the sunshine on Wednesday. Mainly sun filled on Thursday with highs also low 50s. We're upper 40s. So we look ahead towards Friday with a chance for a few rain showers out there. Those will likely be scattered across the region. For this upcoming weekend, we're upper 40s Saturday, low 50s Sunday. But don't forget, we need to change the clocks late Saturday into early Sunday morning for daylight saving time. We spring ahead that one hour at 2 a.m. early Sunday morning. Right now, I do want to toss it over to Tosin with the very latest on traffic. How are those roadways at this hour? A bit of an issue in Prince George's County 